Hello, and welcome to El Sol Kindergarten and PEEP Orientation. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Dr. Wilson, and I'm the principal of El Sol. I myself graduated from Kalamazoo Public Schools and was a teacher in KPS for 16 years before becoming the principal of El Sol in 2017. I've worked in immersion and ESL settings for most of my career, and I myself am a second language learner of Spanish, so I understand and fully support the unique nature of teaching and learning in an immersion setting. And now I would like to introduce our office staff. Mrs. Gracie Arevalo is our lead secretary and Mrs. Maria Flores is our child accounting secretary. Our secretaries will be the primary contact people you will work with when you enroll your child for kindergarten at El Sol. They are fluent in English and Spanish and will assist you with all your needs. Today's agenda will include information about kindergarten and our pre-kindergarten program called PEEP. I will also discuss information about El Sol and Kalamazoo Public Schools and the process for enrolling your child for the 23-24 school year. Kalamazoo Public Schools is a wonderful school district serving over 12,000 students. We have 17 elementary schools, four middle schools, and four high schools. Our interim superintendent is Ms. Cindy Green. KPS is governed by a seven-member elected Board of Education. Who's eligible for kindergarten? Any child who will be five years old by September 1st may enroll in kindergarten for next year. All schools in KPS offer full-day kindergarten and we follow the same 180-day calendar as rest of KPS. Students are assigned to schools based on where they live and we also have several magnet schools in KPS that accept students from across the district. El Sol is one of these programs. Transportation is provided to all KPS schools. We accept students who live outside of KPS here at El Sol. However, students living outside of the district may not be eligible for a Kalamazoo Promise. The Kalamazoo Public Schools offers an excellent program for students who will be four by December 1st. It's called PEEP, which stands for Pre-Kindergarten Early Education Program. There are PEEP classrooms in a number of elementary schools, but not in every KPS school. For more information on eligibility for PEEP, please contact their office at 337-0095. Now let's watch a promotional video to learn about our wonderful program here at El Sol. El Sol students have dreams. Los estudiantes de El Sol tienen sueños. When I grow up, I want to be an architect. Cuando sea grande, quiero ser una veterinaria. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. Cuando sea grande, yo quiero ser un pastor. El Sol is the only public elementary school in Kalamazoo County with a Spanish-English immersion program. El Sol es la única escuela primaria pública en el condado de Kalamazoo con un programa de inmersión de inglés y español. All students at El Sol receive content instruction in Spanish for half of the day and English for the other half. Todos los estudiantes del Sol reciben instrucción 50% del día en español y 50% del día en inglés. My favorite part about El Sol is math because I feel like it's challenging. Mi cosa favorita de El Sol es ciencias porque hacemos libros. Students at El Sol are connected with Western Michigan University and Kalamazoo College through mentoring programs and staff maintains ongoing conversations with the students about attending college. Los alumnos de la Universidad del Oeste de Michigan y de Kalamazoo College están en constante comunicación con El Sol inculcando en nuestros alumnos el deseo de ir a la universidad a través de sus programas de mentores. My favorite part about El Sol is the teachers. Mi cosa de favorita de El Sol es que puedo hacer matemáticas porque me gusta hacer las multiplicaciones. El Sol students have opportunities to participate in a bilingual after school program. Los estudiantes del Sol tienen la oportunidad de participar en un programa bilingüe después de la escuela. Staff members at El Sol can communicate effectively with families in both English and Spanish. Los miembros del personal del Sol tienen la habilidad de comunicarse efectivamente con las familias en inglés y en español. I am El Sol. I am the promise. I am KPS. Yo soy El Sol. Yo soy la promesa. Yo soy KPS. I am El Sol. 
I'm the promise, I'm KPS. Yo soy el sol, yo soy la promesa, yo soy KPS. I am el sol, I am the promise, I am KPS. All right. El Sol is a 50-50 dual language immersion school. This means that half of the academic instruction takes place in English and half in Spanish. Our student population consists of 50% native Spanish speakers and 50% native English speakers. Here's a breakdown of instruction at El Sol. Math and science instruction take place completely in Spanish. There is also a reading and writing focus in Spanish that is integrated into the content areas. Meanwhile, English, language arts, social studies, and the writing block take place in English. At the end of the unit, students do what we call bridging to learn vocabulary in the opposite language that they learned in during a unit. This ensures that they are able to identify and use academic language in both English and Spanish. Here is a sample of the daily schedule at El Sol. School starts at 8.44 a.m., but parents can drop students off as early as 8.30. The tardy bell rings at 8.50 a.m. and instruction begins. Students will have blocks of instruction and also time where they attend specials, lunch, and interventions with specialists. The school day ends at 3.50 and parent pickup starts at 3.45. Students also load buses at 3.50. There are various after-school programs, including a Communities and Schools after-school program, a book club, Read and Write Kalamazoo, and in the spring, Girls on the Run. Now I would like to introduce you to our kindergarten teachers. Senora Greenman has a self-contained classroom, which means she keeps one group of children all day and switches languages for instruction in the different content areas as described earlier. Senora Holman and Senora Aguirre share two groups of students. Senora Holman teaches in English and Senora Aguirre teaches in Spanish and the students switch classrooms at the half day mark. All three teachers work hard to create positive and caring relationships with both students and parents at El Sol. Here's what you can expect to see during a typical day in kindergarten. Each day, students will take part in whole group instruction where they will learn core content. Teachers use a number of engaging activities during whole group instruction, including movement, small group sharing opportunities, choral responses, music, dance, rhymes, and other daily routines, including daily calendar activities. During small group instruction, students may be grouped with others to work with the teacher at their ability level. Some students will be in mixed ability groups where they can learn from each other while mastering skills. During small group work time, us students might also work with a paraprofessional or a tutor. Kindergartners have time periods throughout the day where they get to explore through independent activities. Some of these workstations have an academic focus and some of them have a structured play or game focus where students can practice social skills. Students also have an opportunity to play outside during recess. During inclement weather, students remain indoors and can socialize and play games. Students' lunch time consists of a 25 minute time period to eat and 25 minute recess. Students can receive a free meal regardless of income from the school, or they can choose to just purchase milk if they wish to eat with their meal brought from home. Students take part in a music class twice a week for 30 minutes. This music class is taught in English, but the teacher emphasizes not just Hispanic culture, but cultures of many groups around the world. She also incorporates music with Spanish lyrics in some of her lessons. Physical education class takes place two times a week for 30 minutes each. The majority of instruction takes place in English, but the teacher incorporates Spanish words for movement related language when possible. Art class takes place once a week for 50 minutes. Art is taught in English with an emphasis on art from cultures around the world and special focus areas on Hispanic art and culture. During the, a regular day in kindergarten, Students will have many opportunities to do reading activities in Spanish and English, math and science activities mostly in Spanish but with bridging in English, reading and writing opportunities in both Spanish and English, and opportunities to work on gross and fine motor skills, speech and language, and citizenship. Attending 
Kindergarten at El Sol is unique because students are expected to function in both English and Spanish. For students of either language minority, they may struggle more than a typical kindergartner to get used to the setting where they must participate for a half a day using a language they may not be comfortable using at first. It's possible that for the first couple months of school, your kindergarten student may experience an increase in emotional behavior, including frustration or avoidance of the other language. Eventually, they become comfortable with the program and usually by November are very excited to learn in both languages. But it's because of this that I recommend that students who are not five years old by September 1st should wait until the next school year before they start kindergarten at El Sol. You can start preparing your child for kindergarten now by exposing your child to books in both English and Spanish so that they can get used to seeing both languages. They can also watch videos with counting, letter naming, and songs in both languages. This slide also has several websites in English that you can access with songs, videos, and other fun activities to start learning kindergarten skills. This slide contains a series of websites in Spanish that you can also start using with your child to get them comfortable singing, speaking, and listening in Spanish. One very important thing you can do to prepare your son or daughter for kindergarten is to practice doing things to be more independent. This includes things like tying their shoes, zipping their coat, putting on snow pants, buttoning shirts and pants, washing hands after they use the bathroom, opening their lunch containers and storing them back in their lunch box, cleaning up after themselves like toys, books, papers, food wrappers, etc., following one to three step directions, organizing papers in a folder, and putting supplies in a backpack. I've also added a couple TikTok videos with useful tips for preparing your child for the school setting. El Sol has a strong partnership with an organization called Communities in Schools. Communities in Schools provide students with social services, including tutoring, food assistance, health services, including vision, dental, mobile health clinics, counseling, and an after-school program with homework support, shoes, warm clothing, and any other services they may need to support their overall well-being. El Sol is known for its very strong parent-teacher organization. We work together throughout the year not only to raise funds but to provide a series of social opportunities. Some of our biggest fundraisers and social events include the Taste of El Sol in October, where families can make and sell their favorite foods, our Walkathon, and our Fiesta de El Sol, which takes place in the spring. We hold monthly PTO meetings, um, and this year they've been by Zoom, which means parents can join from wherever you are and take part in the meeting. There are several ways and opportunities you can get involved, whether it's volunteering for individual events or becoming a PTO officer. At KPS, elementary students are eligible for transportation if they reside more than one mile from the school and if they are attending their designated boundary school or a magnet school. El Sol does have transportation provided for anyone who lives within the KPS district. You will receive confirmation about transportation after your child is enrolled. Only students within the Kalamazoo Public Schools are eligible for the Kalamazoo Promise Scholarship within the Kalamazoo Public School District. This wonderful gift to our students pays for tuition and mandatory fees at many Michigan post-secondary institutions. If your child stays in KPS throughout their school careers and graduates from one of our high schools, your child will receive 100% of this amazing benefit. Next year, you may be invited to sign a promise certificate at a special ceremony. How do you enroll in KPS? You may begin the enrollment process in three ways. I'll describe the three methods and then show you where to find this information on the KPS website. All of these methods begin the enrollment process. You can use whichever one you are most comfortable with. And once these forms are started, the enrollment process will be finalized at El Sol. 
The links to online and Google form enrollments can be found by looking for the enrollment button under the Find It Fast section of the KPS homepage. If you have any questions about the enrollment process, you can also call ELSOL directly at 337-0230. Once you fill out the online registration forms, you will need to bring the following materials to ELSOL to finalize the process. Your child's birth certificate, immunization records, and proof of hearing and vision screening if available. You will need to provide two proofs of address, such as a utility bill, lease agreement, or mortgage statement. A phone bill or a driver's license do not count as a proof of address. For PEEP registration, you will also need to provide proof of yearly family income. If you need to fill out a paper registration form, you can do that, do that during your visit, but we encourage all families to fill out the online form. All families will receive a tote bag with a kindergarten t-shirt once you have completed all the components of the registration process. El Sol accepts students from all over Kalamazoo Public School District. Because of this, we sometimes have more applicants than available spots. When this happens, we do an enrollment lottery where families will be chosen at random to be placed at El Sol. We normally do this lottery within two weeks of kindergarten orientation. Once the student list is finalized, it gets approved by student services and parents are notified by late April or early May. We look forward to welcoming your child for the first day of, of the 23-24 school year on August 28th. And we definitely welcome the class of 2036. To learn more about KPS on our school, you can visit the district's webpage at kalamazoopublicschools.com. At the upper right-hand side, you'll see a drop-down list of schools. Please look for our webpage for any additional information or feel free to contact us by phone or email. Thank you for joining us today.